Two, we have a petition that says, shall the city ordinance be adopted that no provision of the Control Substance Division of the Code of Ordinances shall apply to the use, possession, or transfer of less than one ounce of marijuana on private property by a person who has obtained the age of 21 years. And what we're doing and why we're doing this is because of the issues that we're running into today with medical marijuana issues. Because as of today, there's still no one in this program that has died from marijuana. You have so many people that have been through this, they have died from their cancers and died of other things, but they've never died from marijuana. When you start looking at this, there's no lethal dose to that. I have the facts right here. Aspirin can kill you. I would rather have my grandkids get into my pound of pot and eat as much as they can than to get into a bottle of aspirin. Absolutely. A bottle of aspirin you can buy right over the counter. And this just isn't right. The government isn't telling you the properties of this plant because they're scared. So what we need is 430 signatures to get this on the ballot. And then we're going to leave it up to the city residents to vote on this. So tonight, I can say, we've got our signatures. Yay! So this will be on the ballot. We have until August to get as many as we want. So as of today, I believe there was 432. 433 have been 433, and we have a stack that we haven't checked yet. Yep. So we're going to be well into 1,000 and over on that signature. Uh, so, on with that, uh, Lansing is going to be next on this. And with the issues over the medical marijuana and the laws and different things that have taken place in December and the things that they're working on now, there's also going to be a meeting for the Jackson County Normal on March 30th at Little Caesars Pizza Airport Lanes. They're going to be discussing the laws that passed in December through the legislature and the possible bill that is coming up to 4271. Uh, and with that, let me see. We had one question in the back, and then I'll go on to him. I just want to know if I'm at the right place, because I'm a conservative. I'm totally against marijuana. God You're in the wrong place. God, well, God made I'm not saying the wrong too. place. So, are we going to take opium? Uh, in order to get you know, opium, so I'm, I'm talking. To get, so I didn't know the Tea Party was all into marijuana and all that. I didn't no, they're that. they're into the social issues, and this is a social issue. But I'm against marijuana. Oh, okay, but then I'm, 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 I'm against, against, I'm against yes. alcohol. I, I'm not yeah. here to argue or anything yeah, with you. He with, said God made it. God made poppies too. So that's that mean right. I'm going to take right. opium. I'm totally well, yes, they do, matter of fact. Here, well, no, God makes everything. God makes sugar, the, too. Okay, back, back to letting me pass. Like Michael Sam says, marijuana is a gateway drug to other drugs. Okay, okay. Like okay. Oh, until you bring them facts to the case, ma'am. Can I say I something? Say just a second. Can I say something? The lady's got a right to voice her opinion, right. just like everybody here does. But let's do it one one. I'm one very time. passionate. I'm so shy. Just a second. I'm conservative. I listen to Michael Savage. And if we're, if we're here talking to you, your talk totally turned me off. Like all this room, I'm not for marijuana. I'm well, maybe I should address it. it. What, I'm what about? It. Okay. I, you know what? Do you know anything about, you about it? it? Okay. What's your, what's your question? And I don't believe in that. What's your question? You Ask got, me. You, you talk about all the scientific what's studies your? on marijuana mm -hmm. doing good. Yeah. I don't know if I believe that because I think there's just as much scientific study. Does anybody have their laptop? I'm bad. Yeah, I got mine. Yeah. Break it out. You know what? You can go information. to a laptop and find on climate it change men. that it's real. That's and of. there's Nas a scientist the, in the no, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, but I'm talking to the National the, Library of Medicine. That's the United States I government. Marijuana. I hate what it does. Does anybody else here feel the same as me? Probably not. We feel it's a freedom oh, of choice. No. Freedom of health choice. It's very rude and disrespectful. And if we want to kill ourselves, that's their own goddamn business. That's right. It's our choice. I only hear one person at a time. Oh, I'm against alcohol, too. So did you get your... Uh, not really. Okay, what's your I mean, question? Talking, Put I, it in the question. Is Are you for okay? Is there let me freedom let me of choice. Sir, you're out of order. You don't like it? Thank you. Did you ask me the question? I never. You don't have a will. Okay. 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 Okay, we, we okay, if we can, we'll move along with the hemp and then the question and answer afterwards. Okay, humanism, everybody does what they feel. Ma'am, 
We ask everybody to be respectful when they came in here tonight. No, you're being loud. She, you're being like a person who let go just a while, while ago. So just calm down. If you don't believe in it, that's all well and good for you. Your choice. But let's not harass the speaker, please. That's I'm harassed. I'm just shocked by this. Well, you're so shouting and screaming, so you are harassing. Passion. You, well, learn you learn call it whatever you want. We're asking you to calm well, down. I'm so glad that you have the passion that I do. You're just on the other side of the fence from me. I can't get see, away here. see, some of the things that you don't understand is, is you listen to other people and you don't get your facts. What I have here, what I have here are some facts. What I have is a Congressional Research Service paper. That was done on January 19th of 2012. This is hemp is an agricultural commodity. And this is going to change the, the way that Michigan and the United States does business. This is a brand new industry. And it's the same plant. What kind see, of you said? see, it's a hemp plant because hemp is a cannabis sativa. And also there's cannabis indica. So cannabis indica is more of the medicine. Cannabis sativa is more of the industrial. There are sativas that have a high THC content, but on the most basis, it is an agricultural product. So what you do with this product right here is you can get 300 barrels of fuel per acre compared to an ethanol, a corn base, which you're only getting 170 barrels. So you use this not to get high end, you use this for car parts. Right now, we can't do anything in the auto industry with hemp parts. They're all imported into the United States. We can't compete in the auto industry. That is wrong. This is Michigan. This is the auto industry state. Ford has hemp parts in their Lincoln. Their door panels are now currently being made out of hemp products in Canada, not in Michigan. This is wrong. This right here are facts. Right now, it is over 25,000. It's over 50,000 products that can be made from this. So Jackson has a lot of industry here that is sitting idle, empty plants. They're taking the buildings down. I'm not happy. I used to have a first aid and safety equipment company. I took care of these plants around here. It disgusts me to see how bad that we've went. Some of the things that you don't understand that I do is the United States has a patent on this plant, on the cannabinoids of this. This is to keep the hemp plant illegal. The Drug Enforcement Agency is the one that tells people that we can't have this. There's not enough drug in a hemp plant for industrial purposes to get you high. You can't get high on this. You can make car parts. You can make shampoos out of this. You can make lotions out of this. You can make the paper. About anything in this room, you can make with hemp. Anything you make out of wood, you can make out of hemp. Do you want a job? Are you working right now, ma'am? Yes, I have a job. Well, well you look okay. around the room. There are people that are not working. I don't know and, and in Jackson know. here, our Open industry is so low yeah. in the whole county. So these are some of the things that is a social issue. And because of our government trying to keep one part of this down and coming up with myths of a gateway drug. Your myth of a gateway drug is incorrect and actually, I like Michael Sanders, hold it, let me talk ma'am. What's happened here is the people that are inside of this program and using this as a medicine now have reduced their opiate intake, which you so kindly brought up. Yes, opiate is an addiction. And this is not addicting. It, it does not take you to the next level. It actually brings you back down off from this. And there's actually studies on rats that were were born heroin addicts, and they went to the cannabis extracts instead to wean themselves off of it. So these tests are there, but you don't hear about them. I read about these because that's kind of my job. I read. I find my facts before I talk to people that's about right. this. This is important. I've taken this to our county commissioners to get the hemp resolution done. We need the jobs here. Yes, we do. We need the fuel. If you present this correctly, the farmers can make their fuel right on their farm. They don't have to pay $5 a gallon for diesel fuel. They can pay under a dollar a gallon. What's that going to do? That's going to lower your food cost. Heck yeah. The byproduct is those parts for Ford or GM or Chrysler or maybe some shampoo company comes in. There's so many different things you can make out of this one plant that is ridiculous of why it's kept down like it is. Well, there's a lot of things. Dow chemicals involved. Absolutely. 
DuPont. DuPont made nylon at the same time hemp was making rope. So who is going to put the money into this to keep this illegal? That's right. The people that are making the chemicals that are taking over for plant extract. So what happens with this is we have a U.S. patent on here now. They have it on the cannabinoids. You have 15 states that have already went through this year and did hemp resolutions. Because what they're doing in Hawaii, they're passing, is soil remediation. And what this does, this plant will take pesticides and toxins and oil out of your ground and save your ground and put nitrogen back in and other things in your soil. So the following year, you don't have to use pesticides and herbicides on that. Helping save the soil and water table. Helping save the cost of that food and the things that they're putting onto your products. You know, when they're spraying your corn down, genetically modified corn, they're spraying it down the Roundup. Well, if they put hemp in here, what happens is the growth of this doesn't allow those weeds to prosper. So the following year, you don't have to have that herbicide put on there. There's only six natural bugs that go after hemp, and none of them are native to the United States. So you eliminate those bugs out of that whole area because they have nothing to eat. So now you don't have to spray that following crop for any bugs because they're not there. Is this going to be a savings to you and me? Yes. This is a social problem. Yes, it is. It is. I don't like what's in my food. Until you give me facts to go along with your myths and things, I have enough facts here. Hemp is a biomass for That's energy. That's correct. For energy. We can do energy, renewable energy with this. And you can grow your own fuel for the automobiles. That could be made right here in Michigan. You have... You have so many other things. Hemp Creek. If you get into this, this doesn't get you high. It builds a house. Yep. And instead of putting a carbon footprint out there on your construction, it actually absorbs carbon out of the air and locks that carbon into that structure. There's proof of this. If you get on YouTube and you check out Hemp Creek, you can see different buildings that have been built from this. I'm trying hard to get some of this brought into Michigan. It's a bath. It's a real bath. Some of the other thing is New York has also did the soil remediation on this with, with uh, some facts here on how it is actually taken care of this. And on top of that, after they take care of the soil, they use this for the fuel. So it isn't like this is just getting discarded after it did the remediation of the soil. This is all good, all the way down to the end. When you're all done with it, you can make hemp blocks out of this and be building new, new structures out of it. So you have a whole new industry. Tell about that bridge up north. Yep. So with that, is there any questions? Go ahead. Is it on? Okay. Um, I agree with what you're saying. Um, a point, basically, not really so much a question, but a point that I have is, is, is it was mentioned here that uh, the, the Tea Party being about pot use and all this kind of stuff, it, you know, being associated with the Tea Party and myself, I have strictly libertarian philosophy, uh, it, for me it's a, it's a matter of choice, and, right. and my choice versus the government telling me what I have to do, and I'm not a pot smoker, I'm not a pot uh, user, uh, but the thing is, my particular views should not interfere with someone else's views as far as what they want to do as long as their actions don't harm someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, is that um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a commodity that uh, people use to relax or whatever the, the case may be. Uh, Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, liberals, they all use it just the same as anybody else, but they might do it uh, under concealment and, and so on and so forth and something they don't talk about. But the thing is, as far as my concern is, it's not something that the government should interfere and tell me what I can and cannot do with my body. Uh, it, everything, uh, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, it's all illegal currently. Uh, but the thing is, is that, uh, you know, since when does government have the right to step in and tell me what I can or cannot do with my own body? They have a, a legitimate concern as far as my actions going out and harming somebody under the influence of that, that's a different story. But as long as people are not doing this, uh, then, then they should butt out. The thing is with marijuana and other drugs and so on and so forth is the fact is the government has a tremendous 
opportunity to shake down and seize property. And I am not for that. It, they, they stop people. If they ask them a question, blah, 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 they get probable cause. They send in the dogs. The dogs basically have no purpose other than to satisfy the master. So they have a false hit. So now they get permission to search a vehicle and they get to seize whatever property is in there. Um, everybody should be against that because you have an unequal application of justice there because you have somebody that may be drive, driving a jalopy versus a Mercedes-Benz and you have an unequal application of justice based on that particular thing. And the money is used by the government to fund more and to buy more and more equipment, buy uh, guns, uh, vehicles, so on and so forth. So it's an incentive for government to interfere with individual rights. Policing for profit. Exactly. Correct. There's a, there's a good point. I'm a constitutionalist, okay? I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I believe what's written in the Constitution, that's the limitations that the government has. They can't go beyond that. But just for homework, read the first ten, read the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments to the Constitution, and see how many of those apply. When they can seize your property without a fair trial. There goes one. Yep. When they can search you without a warrant. There's two. Those are two big ones. Now they want to control what you say and what you do. Well, there goes the first. So this is this is a big problem. This that's why I say this issue is, has nothing to do with Battle Barrel One anymore. When the government can form its own opinion separate from the people and enforce that opinion on the people through force of arms, because they have the guns and they have the money. We all have a problem. We all have a problem. It's not just medical marijuana use. What about the next issue? When they decide they don't want to implement something. Oh, good one. Uh, the managers, emergency managers, went up. People voted it down. Who's getting an emergency manager right now? Detroit. The people objected to it under initiative. The government chose to ignore it. Okay, we have a question over here. Uh, yeah, I have a question about this industrial uh, hemp. I know a few years ago that they were importing hemp products like clothing and shoes yeah, and really. handbags. And I'm not sure if that stuff is grown in, in all in Canada or here in the United States. Like no, Canada. China and the UK. Some. Every other industrialized nation in the world is growing hemp except the United States. Do you know what the... Uh, uh, what, what what's it what's it going for? If you had a ton of hemp, do you know what the market value of that? It's multi. No, not right now. Multi million dollars. Most places cannot produce enough of it to make a market value on it, from my understanding. Well, somebody's you know, doing because, it because I've seen well, that. Well, I understand. There, because I was just talking with Hemp Technology Incorporated, and they're out of the UK. They're in New Zealand right now, harvesting that. As soon as they're done harvesting there, they go over to the UK, and they're doing the planning there. So well, what I saying? haven't talked to them about the cost aspect. I was just trying to get them to come into Michigan and try to start so farming it here. There is, right now we have some legal blockade against growing. The EPA will not there. let a school, Michigan State, farm. Is that right? That's right. Well, okay. We well, have we have prison out here that has enough fencing on that that we can provide security for that for that plot, okay. and they still won't let Michigan grow that. Imagine producing uh, fuel at 50% reduction, okay? If, what he just pointed out, the one stat that caught, perked me up a little bit, was you get 300 barrels of fuel, whereas you can only get 170 out of corn. All right, we know for a fact now, after running this little experiment, that when they started making ethanol, food prices spiked. So, you, and it really didn't help fuel prices because, folks, guess what? They told us, they promised us, this is a problem with government. They promised us, use less fuel. If you use less fuel, the prices will go down. You know what's happening now? We're exporting more fuel than we're importing. Okay? This is say we do this. This is all about management. This is say we don't export. This is say we keep all the fuel we produce here. What would happen? I'll tell you what happened. I've already done the math. Fuel gas prices go down by a third. They go down. What does that mean? Well, there's one other thing I want to point out. This is important too. Excess speculation. 33% of every dollar on every gallon of gas is excess speculation. Doesn't have any bearing on the on market value of gasoline. So you reduce the price of gasoline by 60%. That's what happens. And you quit exporting and you quit you remove excess speculation out of the market. You put that money into people's pockets. It's a raise. I spent $150 a week going back and forth to work. You cut that down to 50, I've got hundred dollars more to spend. What happens to the economy? 
when people have that much more money to spend, it goes through the it goes through the roof. Your oil, your oil, people invest in oil companies. You move your money somewhere else. You move your money to him. But we're we're not managing what resources we have wisely, and then we're asking the people to pay more the taxes. <coughs> That's why we're failing. So okay. we've got a solution. We got a question over here. I don't know if this is working. Is it working? Hello? There you go. My question is I came here uh, for two reasons. It's my first meeting. One was for the uh, marijuana. I didn't come here for a lecture on like everything and all about the gum. I'm well aware of that. Keep your focus on one thing. You're going all over the place. I know you're frustrated, so am I. But let's take attack one item at a time, one issue. You want I think you've got covered almost everything there is. That's not going to be the solution. And the other uh, item I was here for, it was for um, the garbage uh, ordinance. Let's concentrate on those. I think we've talked enough about the uh, marijuana. Let's get on to the garbage. Yeah. Also, one item that probably nobody knows here, except maybe JC, I think he already knows, is are you aware that the Constitution papers were made by Camp? Yes. 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 And the first flight. Yep. Okay. One acre of trees. Most people don't realize that. George Washington smoked acres of trees. Pardon? George Washington produces the same amount of paper. Yes, as one so did Abraham Lincoln. Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Yep. Madison. Okay. Uh, Mel Byron. Mel Byron. 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 We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> Obama. <move on. laughs> Clinton, but he didn't inhale. We're gonna have Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is here tonight. He has the petition on the garbage ordinance. We also have tonight. Our city manager Pat and one of the city council members Laura here. So in case there is anybody that wants questions, maybe afterwards, Pat said he couldn't answer it. questions too. So I'll let Tom take her over. Thanks, JC. 